Now to the young model who says she is here alive today because she trusted her gut. Her doctors misdiagnosed her, but she says she knew something was wrong, so she kept going back and eventually was diagnosed with ovarian cancer. Here's ABC's Morris Gavacampo. She's a model, a runway diva, and now a cancer survivor. You know, like it's really hard to describe what it feels like to have cancer, but you just don't feel right. You just don't feel like yourself. For two years, plus size model Ellie Mayday suffered extreme pain in her lower back and abdomen. After multiple trips to the emergency room, doctors sent the model away with no diagnosis and painkillers telling her there was nothing to worry about. But the 27 year old's determination to find answers ultimately saved her life. I kind of complained about my stomach hurting a lot more uh, as well as with the back. I was able to go into a CT scan and then uh, after I got the results from that, they couldn't see my left ovary. That CT scan revealing an ovarian cyst, a biopsy later determining she was suffering from a rare form of stage three ovarian cancer. When you are stripped down to absolutely nothing, to no hair, to scars, it didn't matter if I had a career modeling after this. It just mattered if I survived. Mayday immediately started treatment, undergoing a hysterectomy and three months of chemotherapy, losing 60 pounds in the process, modeling throughout treatment, even while losing her hair. At some points, I didn't feel like myself. This morning, her cancer in remission, the model now using her platform to inspire women to recognize their inner beauty and realize you can beat cancer. It's extremely important to trust your gut. When you have confidence, you can take on the world and you can take on cancer. What a beautiful smile and glad that she's doing so well. Joining us now, ABC News senior medical contributor, Dr. Jennifer Ashton. I love how intently you watch these pieces and hearing what uh, she had to say. 27 years old, that yeah. is unusual in that age group for ovarian cancer. Very unusual, but we have to remember ovarian cancer is classically and commonly, unfortunately, often dismissed as being attributed to something else, mm -hmm. often gastrointestinal issues. In this case, allegedly her weight. It's very uncommon in young women, and we have to remember that ovarian and cysts in and of themselves are not concerning in a woman her age. What is concerning is when we see features on sonogram that we think are suspicious and we cannot biopsy the ovary. So that means a trip to the operating room. So women need to remember the symptoms, which are key. The most common symptoms of ovarian cancer, pelvic pain or pressure, increase in urinary frequency or bloating, and women who have endometriosis are at higher mm. risk. So again, be persistent. Be persistent, know your body. And this young woman, I'm going to tell you, you know, she went back, she knew, she trusted right. her gut. When, when should we know? to go back and just you know demand that second opinion. Well, first, Robin, I think the onus of responsibility has to be on the doctor. I have a rule, if a patient comes back to me twice, three times with the same complaints, I start to question whether I've missed something. So for a patient, getting a second set of eyes on it is not always necessary, but should be considered if you need to make a diagnosis, if the symptoms are persistent, if any recommended treatment is either invasive or aggressive, or if you want one, if it's possible, mm -hmm. ask for your records and bring them all with you. How do you have that conversation? You know, so many people, we, I'll just say, we're intimidated by the doctor. How, what suggestions do you have in opening that line of communication? Don't be intimidated, first right. of all. People always fear the worst, that's human nature, but again, most of the time, that's not the case. Any doctor who has not seen a patient's intuition at work, in my opinion, hasn't been practicing medicine long enough, so it matters, and it reminds us, medicine is an art and a science. Mm -hmm. And uh, you're not offended if someone wants a second opinion. Not at no. all, and the good doctors will never be offended. There you go, all right, as you are one. All right, <laughs> Jen, thank you. Let's get over now to Amy.